What's good gamers? What's up YouTube? My name is Nico Finno and yes, there are more Pokemon leaks. So over the past few days, there have been heaps and heaps of new Pokemon Sword and Shield leaks. And these do not look to be slowing down any time soon. I want to start with what is Yamper's evolution and his name is Boltund. He's a dog, looks like he's wearing a superhero outfit with that colored fur. I'm liking the yellowy gold look with what looks to be a spiky tail and you can see those spikes coming out at his hips there. His pinned back ears and white face make him look just so innocent. I love dogs and I really love this new Pokemon. Next we have Rolly Collie's evolution and next in line his name is Car Cole. This rock unit has rock feet, an actual face and looks to be like a fire pit with legs. With all that coal on top of him, I also really like the detail with the glowing red through the coal on top of his head. Looks awesome. Karkol evolves into a absolute giant of coal. His name is Colossal. And take a look at this. The body is almost like a rock transformer with those giant shoulders and tank-like body. He has a solid stance. And again, I love the detail there with the glowing red through the coals. Nice. And we've already seen this, but I think that just confirms that this was probably a picture of the Gigantamax Colossal that we've been here seeing over the past couple of days. Here it is. We have Galarian Rapidash. And take a look at this. Look at that hair. I mean, it just looks so majestic. Long purple hair covering its ankles. That looks sick. Along with those wise eyes and sick looking horn. Definitely another dope addition to this new lineup of Pokemon leaks. It looks as though we now have Corviknight's pre-evolutions, starting with Rooked D. This little bird definitely has potential. We can see the making of Corviknight's spiked head. He shares the red eye look, but in addition has that yellow chest and a ball-like body. Now, Rooked D actually evolves into another Pokemon called Corvusquire which does really look like an in-between evolution. We can see the wings taking form, as well as that distinct chest feathers that we all already know. The blue and black follow suit from Rooker D, but it has more of a Corviknight stance, but without that armor. We have Squirvet, and look how adorable he is. He's a fluffy squirrel looking fellow with chubby cheeks, a big tail and a button nose. But wait, there's more. Squivet evolves into Greedunt. He gets an even fluffier tail, color change, and big chomping front teeth. He has little orange freckles and just looks so damn nice. A Galarian Stunfish. And I'm loving the Fluoro Green Bear Trap looking design, along with that creepy mouth and those eerie eyes. Take a look at Arracuda. A fresh looking design here, with white arrowheads down the body, orange gills, and a single protruding tooth. But wait. He evolves into Barra Scooter. Now, he has sharp like teeth. Kind of like an evil grin, along with those dope fins and the side pattern connecting up. This is one tough fish. We have Snom. He has a star like body that's like a shiny pearl color, as well as are those eyes maybe at the front there? But he really takes form when he becomes Frost Moth. Look at those rabbit-like ears. I love the alien-like eyes with that blue pop on that white body looking all moth-like. The body almost looks like a scarf covering his mouth. 
and wait, here comes the bugs. Blipbug, a purple caterpillar-like Pokemon with ginormous eyes and a bow tie-like feature there on his chest. Dotler is next, and this is a huge change, almost like a portable cocoon shield-like armor, making Dotler probably having a high defense. He keeps the purple arrow feature, but that's about it. Then his final form, or beetle. That shell shield is now his wings. It looks like it's a nice red with that purple returning there. He has this claw-like hands happening and daggers as feet, almost like an assassin ladybug. We also have some brand new screenshots of some in-game text, which reads as follows. Fossils in the Galar are broken into top halves and bottom halves for some reason. Huh? Strangely, no matter which top and bottom you combine, they can be restored together. I'm going to end this one here, friends. Let me know what you thought of this video. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of these new Pokemon and their evolutions, as well as that in-game text. And until next time, Nico Finno out.